Hello everyone, I'm Victoria. Today I'm going to continue to um, paint some uh, orchids, Chinese orchids. Today I'm going to paint these orchids. We call it um, Hu Shan Su. It's a um, Kanran family uh, in Chinese. Han Lan, which means um, winter bloom orchids. Um, and uh, the name for it, because different, uh, there are um, a lot of more than one at least. Uh, this specific name is called Hu Shan Su. Hu Shan means um, tiger mountain, so it's kind of tall and uh, um, higher um, and big. So Hu Shan Su means white flower, you know, like a jasmine flower. Uh, it's white, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellowish, so not colorful, not not red, not anything um, colorful. So, uh, Hu Shan Su, uh, yeah, Tiger Mountain uh, orchids, <laughs> white orchids. And uh, uh, so this is the one I'm going to paint it today. So see the, the leaves, uh, narrow and the tall, and the spike, only one spike. Spike is tall, and uh, the growth, see, it's very tall. Um, it stand by itself, very healthy. And in the wind, you know, it's kind of a twist, bend, and then back. So it's very good for um, like a calligraphy stroke in Chinese painting to do this kind of things. And a little, little, very small flower on the top. Uh, compare with the one yesterday, I have another um, part for the uh, orchids. Uh, it's called uh, Da Fu Gui. Those ones so are, dif are different. I'm going to show you. I change the place. <laughs> See this one? The leaves are shorter and then more bend, more gesture. See this more stiff and uh, taller. And the uh, spikes, the one yesterday I, do, I did, much shorter, and this one taller, and the flower smaller. So, let me see. A different flower, different leaves, even the color, darkness are different, and the gesture for the leaves are different. So, put this away. <laughs> do not get confused. So, today I'm going to paint this one. Use Chinese ink and uh, a little bit color, a little bit of green tone. A little bit of ink and just thoroughly um, wet my brush. I use a stiff brush, stiff brush mm, to do the stem and the leaves because we talked about Chinese um, orchids, the leaves are very tough and very kind of stiff. So I choose the stiff brush, stiff hair to do this. Um, ink here, and I use um, um, actually uh, the indigo, the blue, dark blue indigo, and the yellow to make some uh, Chinese pen, Chinese watercolor to make the a little bit of like a green yellow tone. Um, with ink a little bit so to do the leaves. Water drop to put a little bit of water. Color is dry. Mm, okay, so tall, some taller, and some shorter, and a different direction. I'm not going to paint the part.
This paper is semi size, a little bit absorbent, but with some thickness and the techniques, they make it uh, kind of with some thickness, so it's not very smeary. So when you find it's too dry, the stroke. I put a little bit, I mean a little more water, see if it's too dry you can go slower and uh, you can dilute the ink a little bit if you want. Okay, so we talked about um, do not have to exactly copy precisely for the leaves, right? Um, I actually always try to minimum things, but we follow the role of Chinese painting of these kind of things. Uh, we say one stroke, I mean the first one stroke, the open the sky, right? Kai Tian Di, Yi Bi Kai Tian Di, the first stroke, Kai Tian Di. And then cross it to make a phoenix eyes, you know, some eyes. And then break the eyes. So um, eventually, you see, you see some eyes there, okay? So, see, some eyes here and some cross. That's it. I think that's it. I don't want to overdo too much. So now I'm going to do the spike. This spike. See, it's very strong. Very strong. Grow this tall and by itself, stand by itself. Okay? And then naturally, you know, in the wind or sometimes towards the, you know, towards the line, more lights. So go this way. You no, know, no, since here. Go this way and then grow back. I just love it. It's beautiful. So I will do it. Mm -hmm. And only one spike. <laughs> okay, here. Not exactly center. Okay, that's what I did for the spike. See it, the color a little bit from the leaves. You can see it. And uh, um, more stiff than the leaves. And then straight, straight, the energy, the chi, I mean, goes continued. But a little bit, you know, and in, the, in, the, in the wind towards this and then back. Okay, now I'm going to put uh, some flower. For the flower, because it's a um, flower petal, I use this soft, soft hair brush, because it's softer. I want it to be softer looking. Wet it and use some green color uh, made from yellow and uh, indigo blue. about this kind of the color. So it's called the high mount, uh, it's called the tiger mountain uh, orchids, white orchids, but white, you know, not colorful, and the white, a little bit yellow, a little bit green.
And this flower is very, you know, slow. I mean, very small. Okay, I did a few of them, see, the leaves are very, I mean the petal is very narrow, and uh, I just did the gesture of them, you know, a few of them, um, different direction, and then I will do some, like this stem, a little bit, so just simply do some indicated, there is, this. Yeah, the little bit darker one I just did, it's just indicated some, some things for this kind of stem. I don't want to specifically, which one belong to which one, you don't have to. Um, okay, and uh, um, I will do some, a little bit, like the, the pot surface and some moss, some grass. I don't have to, normally I don't do that. A little bit simple indicated how did I grow them <laughs> the home grass. I 
try to put some moss in my surface of the uh, pot and to uh, help the moisture because orchid like the moisture a lot. I grow this, um, the, 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 pot, the pot, actually I put some orchids, bark it, tree barkets, and some the little rock, um, it's called pumas, and some um, parking mix. Uh, yeah, here is some decoration carving on the, on the pot, it's also orchid. <laughs> and the hole for the pot to keep the work is breathing. So I did the the pot the pot but not the whole thing, not the whole thing. That's about the uh Hanlan, the orchids, this kind of orchids tall and the uh, tall spike, one spike, and the little, very thin, small flower. And I will write a calligraphy for that. Not colorful flower. Chinese red ear. Probably uh, even small, I still found it some dark center thing. Yeah, add some dot indicated there is Okay, here is the choreography for Hu Shan Su, the name of uh, this orchid and the, the Chinese year Gen Zi Nian uh, for the lunar red ear and my name now put the seal my name the rubber pad underneath of the paper
It's the Chinese painting. We always put the name seal, uh, the seal paste, normally red. Some people call because the ink painting, the Chinese painting, are very, uh, you know, <laughs> without color almost. And normally just the ink and the water, black and the white. So uh, the name, name chop for it normally use red. So like the banquets, after banquets, like dessert, <laughs> beautiful red here. Evenly press it. Make sure each corner and the center are touched. And then press this paper and lift it. Then so seal here. Thank you finished painting and uh, um, next for the following episode um, I'm going to um, explain and talk about talk about more uh, about uh, how to practice um, this painting this kind of painting for the Hu Shan Su for the orchids today for the leaves for the flower um, so just uh, yeah see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.